All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you where the window needs to actually be. I made a mistake yesterday with the positioning of the window. If we look over here, we've got, um, we've got this wall over here. Uh, so I take that wall, I place it down here, and because this is a scale one is to 50, I just double that length, and there's my wall going up to the top. My window, uh, this is where I made my mistake. I took that measurement over there, I placed it over here and I forgot to double it. So where the window position needs to start, I need to take that, swing it round, place it down over there. And uh, that's where the side of my window is going to be. All right, I've drawn the whole window out. So there it is. There's the whole window to, uh, to the right dimensions. Um, but as you can see, uh, with a wall in place over there and a wall in place over there, I'm not going to be able to see all of the windows so we need to just rub that part out uh, and place it in line with that wall over there and we need to rub that part out and place it in line with that wall over there right so that's what you'll be able to see in your diagram uh, with regards to the window right after that what we need to look at is how to do the door frame over here with some lintels and a window over here um, with the little uh, windowsill as well. Right, let's start with the door frame. I'm going to go up to the top of the height of the door frames and we draw a little line going across there. And we then need to measure up the same distance as a standard brick. Uh, we've got one over here that's 86 millimeters, which works out to about 4.4 or something like that. Um, and I just measure up from there, place that over there and I draw a line going across over here. And of course, we also have a little on the other side of this. Let's just draw that in. There's the lintel, okay. But um, they are two half lintels. If you looked at the question, they tell you in the question over here, uh, let me just find that for you. They say over here, um, windows must um, must be installed with double lintels. Okay, so we've got two lintels in there. So I need to just draw a little line going down over there in the middle and down there in the middle. All right. Uh, and lintels are made out of concrete. So just put in a couple of little triangles in there, a couple of little triangles in there and a few little dots in there. Same story on this side. A few little triangles in there and a few little dots in there just to get your marks for the hatching. Right, once we've done that, um, I need to do the detail for a sliding door. Okay, here we go. There's the door frame in there. We can just draw that in, in the middle. So what we've got is a two millimeter or so gap. And we go on either side of this thing, on either side of the middle, there we go, there we go. Let me get going down there. And I can now draw something that looks like that. A line going all the way down to the bottom over here. I'll just show you where the bottom is over there. There we go, down to where the floor level finishes. Got a little line going over there, and while I'm there, I'm going to write in DPC. D P C for damp proof course. Right, damp proof course at that point over there. Um, there's the side of the, the door over there. Um, sorry, I've made a little bit of a mess over there. That's meant to be about a one millimeter gap over there. Come across over here and we can draw a line going down over here and a line going down over there. Right, these are sliding doors. Um, I just need to rub out that small little piece inside there and repair that line. Right, so we've got that little piece, that over there and a line coming down over there. Right, just repair all the lines. Right, there we go. There's the sliding door placed in place. Um, I now need to come across to this side where we need to do the, uh, the window. 
Okay, um, first of all, what is that window? We need to look at our diagram over here. Uh, if we look at it, where our cutting plane is, let's just get, oh, oh, sorry, there it is. There's our cutting plane. Our cutting plane is going through a window at this point over here. Uh, it's not very clear on, on this, but there is actually a window that's happening in that point. Um, I'm just going to look and see which window that is. Uh, let's just find the thing. It says over here that our window, it is a W1. If you look at that, W1, and our cutting plane is going through over here. You can see that I would be going through W1. Let me just draw that in quickly so you can see the cutting plane. There it is, somewhere over there, going across there with our little arrows looking in that direction. And we are cutting through a window which is W1. So there'd be a window somewhere in here with the window frame in there as well. Right, so what we need to do is to draw what we're going to see as far as the window frame and also the window sill. W1, W1 has got some dimensions. We need to look at the window schedule. We go to the window schedule over here and we look at the height of W1. W1 and W2, you can see that they both have the same height over here. So we can come across to our diagram where we've got the height of the window and I can take that across over here. There is to the bottom of the window over there. All right. Okay. Um, we need to draw the window frame inside of here. So just a one millimeter gap on that side. A one millimeter gap on that side. All right, so there's our window frame. And then um, they also give us some detail as to the, uh, the little fiber cement um, bit of window sill that's going to stick in over here. All right, I'm just going to show you um, what that looks like. All right, so over here, you've got that little bit of fiber cement that needs to come from the window um, and just jut out a little bit over there. So what I need to do is I need to take my 30 degree set square. Um, I'm going to draw in a little line coming out, just a construction line coming from the window sill. It says that it is um, 175 by 20 millimeters. So the length that I need to measure over here is 175. Um, so I need to divide that 175 by 25. 175 divided by 25, which is equal to seven millimeters. I measure off seven millimeters over here. Let's just measure seven millimeters. Come over here and measure that off. Now 25, um, divided by, uh, I mean 20 divided by 25 is going to be a very, very small little mark over there. It's basically about a millimeter. And you are going to then draw in the fiber cement little slab thing over there. Finish it off over there. And there. There's our little fiber cement. There it is. Okay, that's um, basically your window and your door placed in place. You'll note that I don't have a lintel in on the, the internal wall. The reason being is this is not a supporting wall. My external walls, they need to have that lintel so as to support the roof that will go on top of those walls. Right, that's more or less everything except for the hatching. We now need to just look at where hatching needs to take place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of hatching over here. You can see that I've done the hatching for what they call a hardcore fill. That's done at a 45 degree angle. So from there up to there and from there down to there. And we do that all the way across over there. Um, normally in your questions, they tell you to do all substructure hatching freehand. Okay, so you need to do what they call the uh, substructure hatching for the, um, the uh, Natural ground, okay, uh, so that is done like this. You go from here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, 
two, three, one, two, three. Okay, that's on that side. You do a little bit over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You do a little bit there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you can go over to this part over here. Same story. One, two, three. 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 More or less at 45 degrees. A little bit over here. As neatly as you can. Okay, I'm rushing this a bit. You can probably do it a little bit neater than I am. Okay, there we go. And remember to do some on this side as well. This is where you guys tend to lose some marks because you don't put some substructure hatching on this side. Remember, the natural ground level, I need to represent that um, un undisturbed earth over here. Undisturbed earth over there, undisturbed, 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 undisturbed earth all the way across here. I need to put in DPC over here. So we go DPC and also under the windowsill over here, we need to do DPC over there. So DPC underneath your windowsill, that is very important. Otherwise you end up with water rising and that's a bad thing. All right, the next thing that we need to look at is the hatching on the walls. Um, you need to do 0.3, I'm not going to change my pencil, but 0.3 hatching over here, small lines followed by, or small gap followed by a big gap, small gap followed by a big gap, small gap followed by a big gap. All right, that's that wall done. I need it over here down at the bottom. Small gap, followed by a big gap. Small gap, followed by a big gap. Right, I need to go to the top of the wall over here. A small gap, followed by a big gap. Small gap, followed by a big gap. And a small gap there. Right, same story over here. Small gap. Big gap, small gap, big gap, small gap, big gap. There we go. Go down to the bottom over here. Small gap, big gap, small gap, big gap, small gap, big gap. All right, let's go over here. Small gap going in here, big gap. Small gap, big gap. Right, there we go. Um, and that is everything except for the hatching over here. Small gap over here. Big gap. Small gap. Oops, sorry, big gap. I need a big gap. And a small gap. And then a big gap over there. Right, there we go. There's the hatching over there, over there for the wall. Over there, and over there for the wall, over there, over there, and over there for the wall. Hatching for the hardcore fill, hatching for the concrete slab, you can put a little bit in here as well, just to show that you've got concrete over here, and that this concrete is just going all the way across here. Um, natural uh, undisturbed earth over here, undisturbed, 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 and the concrete hatching over there, there, um, there and there. Note the door frame over here is underneath the lintel. Door frame is underneath the lintel. Right, and obviously that window, um, you need to have that in place um, and that will be brilliant. Cool. Right, the next drawings that we're going to look at are the elevation views.